it came in. We're heading toward my wacky theory, yeah. and and you actually kind of led us there when you uh, mentioned this, the fact that actually, right now consciousness is influencing the physical world because you and I are talking about it. Yeah. And even if you're not talking about the mind-body problem, if you just say, I feel pain, or what you just said offended me, then you it seems as if these feelings the feeling of being offended the feeling of pain are having an effect on the physical world now this figures this fact this uh figures in my wacky theory and and but i i before we get to that i assume that it's been argued by some philosophers that this is the reductio ad absurdum of epiphenomenalism right it's like it's like if con if if consciousness exerts no causal influence on the physical world, there's no way beings could talk about it because that is de facto consciousness influencing the physical world, right? Is that an argument that's made? Yeah, that's a very common, maybe the single most common objection to uh, to epiphenomenalism. It's ridiculous to say that consciousness doesn't even cause the things we say about mm -hmm. consciousness. Now, in a book I wrote about 20 years ago, The Conscious Mind, I tried to I at least gave a limited defense of epiphenomenalism, and I've tried to say, hey, this isn't so bad, but it is at least counterintuitive. Um, you know, you can imagine, for example, in some different universe without consciousness, there could be a purely physical being, what we philosophers like to call a zombie, who's physically like me, but without consciousness, and there's my zombie twin slaving away, writing a book on consciousness, and having this conversation over Skype about consciousness, all without actually having consciousness to many people that's very very bizarre that you know co that somehow it would suggest that in me my consciousness is irrelevant to all of this going on and that's at least bizarre i tried to argue it wasn't so bizarre but i gotta say my success was only limited <laughs> a lot of people think, still think it's pretty bizarre and i can see the uh, the intuition so i think there's a lot to be said for looking for alternatives to phenomenalism uh -huh. if you can do it so in the scenario you were envisioning to justify phenomenalism, you would have this planet where beings were just like us physically, but the sentience were just just wasn't metaphysically built into this uh, universe or this planet. And yet, when they reach self awareness, they would say things like, "I feel hot." Yeah, well, um, that seems least, that does seem paradoxical. Awareness once they reach levels, certain levels of intelligence. Yeah, right. they, my zombie twin, zombie David Chalmers, writing his book called yeah. The Conscious Mind, all about, you know, this mm. magnificent phenomenon of consciousness and how hard it is to explain. But for him, there's no consciousness there at all. And that's, mm -hmm. okay, weird things go on in, this is just an alternative possible world. Mm -hmm. Weird things go on in possible worlds. So one shouldn't okay. be too quick to make inferences to okay. the theory is false from that. But the very idea that, that suggests that for me, my consciousness is playing no role in, in my right now discussing it. That is a little bizarre. That is. And yet, if you try to imagine at a fine grain, by what mechanism is my subjective experience leading to a report of it, it's hard not to think of the subjective experience as influencing the physical world, which would then be not epiphenomenalism. But at the same time, there's still the, the basic worry, how on earth could subjective experience influence my reports of it? So right. on the one hand, That's it's what very I mean, intuitive yeah. to say, Consciousness causes the things I say about consciousness. But then there's also the basic problem. Everything I say about consciousness seems to be caused by neural processes or computational processes. And right. in principle, one could probably spell out that whole story without mentioning consciousness. So it still leaves open the question of how consciousness gets in there and makes a difference. Okay. Maybe you have a solution to that. Maybe